Hallelujah. 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 <clears throat> blessings, 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 blessings. Glory be to the Most High God. Hallelujah. You are great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. I'm just giving a few persons to come in and share the link hallelujah it's prophetic wednesday our first prophetic wednesday for the month uh for actually the year 2021 hallelujah god have a word for somebody so come on in share the link hallelujah share the link with a friend share the link blessings blessings to my sister cassia from guyana prophetess cassia blessings Come on, share the link. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For God is good. And despite what is happening around us, God is doing something in our lives. He's still doing new things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise with me. Hallelujah. There is none could compare to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is mighty. He is wonderful. He is great. He is our peace. Hallelujah. He is our help in time of need. Hallelujah. Somebody just need to give God some praise. Hallelujah. Blessings. Blessings. That's Philip's blessings to you. Thank you for being on board. Share. Share and like and share. Share with someone hallelujah somebody will be blessed today hallelujah 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 god is doing something and i want to make sure that whatever god is doing that i am part of it and i don't want to do it by myself i need my brothers and sisters i don't want to do it by myself I need everyone to be on board because Jesus Christ came to save all of us. He was sacrificed for all of us so that every single one of us will have eternal life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more minute. One more minute. Share. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm doing some sharing myself. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Everybody needs to hear what God is saying in this time. It is so important. It is so crucial for everybody to hear what God is saying. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah hallelujah blessings to each and every one of us i want to thank god for allowing us once again to come into his presence to share his word hallelujah i want to thank each and every one of you that take the time out to come and sit to listen to the word of god tonight hallelujah I want to thank God for your life and I pray that God Almighty will do something new in your life. Not me, not anybody else, but God Almighty. And I pray that as the word of God come forth, as the vision that the Lord gave me come forth, that somebody's heart will be blessed. Somebody will be transformed. Somebody will be renewed. Blessings, Sister Jack. Blessings. Thank you for being on with us today somebody will be transformed and renewed somebody somebody you cannot be the same when you leave here when we are finished here tonight you cannot be the same hallelujah so i want to thank god for each and every one of you that choose to to tune in and tonight it is good it's a good night hallelujah i'm just giving person some time to to to, to log in hallelujah hallelujah 
Hallelujah. So greetings to each and every one of you. Hallelujah. Blessings to you, Pastor Samuel. Thanks for being on board. Hallelujah. I greet each and every one of you tonight in the name that is above all name. At the mention of that name, demon will tremble. At the mention of that name, sickness got to go. At the mention at that, of that name, nothing that is unlike Christ could stay within our midst. Hallelujah. And I bring greetings from Rehoboth Ministries, our leader, Apostle Andrew John and Pastor Cassandra John. Hallelujah. And all the members of Rehoboth Ministry, Bel Air, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And I thank God that we have the opportunity to use this forum to come to you, to encourage you, to, 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 to lift your spirit, to remind you that God is still doing something new. God is still look, working on your behalf. Blessings, Pastor Craig. Blessings. Thank you for, for tuning in. Hallelujah. God is still moving despite what we are going through. God is still still operating on our behalf we are still under his shadow we are still under his covering so we i want us to understand that uh, while all of these things that are happening around us and our eyes can see it and and some of us our bodies might might be feeling it because we we, we probably have a, a positive test and all of that we i still need us to understand that god is still moving despite everything that is happening around us somebody said amen and I had a serious wake up call as the Holy Spirit opened my eyes and started to speak to me about certain things. And the team, the team that I got for 2021 is run with purpose in times like these, seeing it through the lens of God. Hallelujah. Run with time, run with purpose in times like like these seeing it through the lens of God in other words we are we are getting the vision we are seeing everything God has given us vision to see the things we ought to see and we are seeing it through his eyes blessings my sister Warren we are seeing it through his eyes so, and as we see things through the eyes of God, our perspective will change towards certain things. Blessings, my, 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 my friend Bollard is there. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in. We will see things differently. We will not see things the way we supposed to see it. We will not see things with our naked eyes. And the Lord started to speak to me uh, in regards to how when we look at the world and when we look at persons how much it is important for us to see people the way God see them because if we have to live through purpose it will not help us if we are seeing persons the way our naked eyes are seeing them hallelujah so the Lord basically was saying to me uh, that you need to let the people know. We need to let my people know that it is time that we start to ask and pray to God to give us vision to see things the way he see it and not the thing, not like how we see them. Because most of the time, sometimes we see things like the world see it. But now is not the time for us to see things the way the world see it. it is time for us to see things the way God see it from a God perspective and it is important that as purpose driven people we supposed to have a purpose driven mindset we will become aware that whatever it is that is lacking in our lives that God will supply unto us we gotta be able to see it in order to receive it 
in order to know it, in order to act it out. It is crucial in these times because when we see things the way a, a man see it, we are taking our eyes off of the vision of God, off of the purpose of God for our lives. When we see things the way man see it, we are becoming compromised. And now is not the time for us to be compromised with our walk with God. It is the time for us to arise and ask God to give us vision. And when we get the vision of God, we will have the wisdom to do the things that we ought to do in the right manner, in the right concept. Somebody hearing me tonight. It is crucial for us at this time because what happened is that the enemy always wants us to see the things he sees it and not the things in which God see it. So the Lord is reminding us the same way God is looking at us through that mercy lens. The same way God is looking at us through that blood. The same way God is looking at us is the same way we ought to look at our brothers and our sisters. And what came to my spirit also is that when we see persons the way God see them, we will not see their sinful nature. We will see it in such a way that we can help them to come out of uh, where they are and come into alignment where God is calling us and calling them to be. When we look at persons the way God see them, we will understand that they are imperfect, uh, that God is the only perfect man. We will see we and understand that because we are imperfect, we will we will make mistakes. We will reach a, a, a point where we will fall short of the glory of God. When we see things and persons the way God show us them, we will know that when they make a mistake, it is not our position or our place to bring them down or chastise them, but we now should be able to lift them up. I want to remind us that when, when Saul was on the, 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 the killing spree, the prosecuting spree, so God, Jesus visited Saul on the road to Damascus and, and, and he said to him, get up, arise. And when he, when he, when he visits it, Saul, he did not visit, it, visit Saul to cause any more issues with Saul. He visited him because there was purpose in Saul. And out of that which he was doing that was darkness, the light of Christ shined into his life and turned every single thing around. And somebody needs to understand in this time of purpose calling time and this time of purpose of calling season we need to understand that a visitation will come from Christ and when the visitation come it is to lift us up is to bring us to a place where God could use us up and in order for purpose to continue to be birthed we all need each other hence the reason why God is saying that we have to be able to see each other through his lens, through his eyes and not through our own eyes because our own eyes will deceive us. Our own eyes will allow us to see persons for the things that they did 10 years ago. Our own eyes will make us see people oh God, oh, that, that they cannot change and the minute that uh, we, we are in that position we will quote scriptures basically saying oh we have all fall short of the glory of God and therefore there is no condemnation in those in Christ Jesus. And we will quote all the scripture that will make ourselves look good. But tonight is not about we looking good. It's about us doing what is right in the eyes of God. And when we can do what is right in the eyes of God, it means that even though man does not like what we are doing, but it pleases God, God is going to cause our enemies to be at peace with us. God is going to cause everything that is out of order, disoriented around us to be as one again, to be renewed, to be transformed again in our lives. Hallelujah. See persons through the eyes of God. Ask God from today forward. Pray and ask him for us to see 
person through his lens. And when we see person through his lens, it means that disunity can no longer be among us. It means that uh, we ought to start to rebuild. As my apostle said earlier, we need to rebuild the broken altars. And one of the altars that is broken severely is the altar of unity. And I come to tell somebody today because one can chase a thousand and two can put ten thousand to flight. And we need to understand that when I see my sister Cassia doing something that is not right, I could tell her that what you're doing is not right in love, that she can now change certain things and purpose will continue to grow in her. But if I leave her to do what is not right, it means I am only seeing her in the eyes of man and not through the eyes of God. It means that whatever God has planted inside of her will wait some period of time in order to give birth to, whereby we ought to know what we are doing in these times and how much it is God is calling each and every one to be our brother's keeper. And in order to be our brother's keeper, we got to be able to see the, through the lens of God. And when we see through the lens of God, it means that the love of God will come upon us. It means that there will be an anointing that no one or nothing can break nor shift. It means that the anointing will bind us together. When I said us, I'm speaking of the body of Christ because many times the world sometimes don't always chastise us, but it is a person's right within our house, person's right in, in our body that cause some of these delays in our lives. See persons through the lens of God and not through the lens of a man. Somebody says, Amen. Somebody says, Amen. Hallelujah. It is crucial for us at this time. And, the, and, 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 and in the book of Joshua chapter 1 and chapter 2, the Lord had me. It was, it was a wake-up call for me. And, and as the Holy Spirit would have woken me up with such a, a word. Uh, I, I, and, and he said to let, let the people know that it is time. It is no longer time to play what if or what could have. Or what could have happened. It is time now that we come away from the things that easily beset us and come into the things that God is calling us to. There is purpose in each and every one of us and I want to tell us today that the devil cannot and would not frustrate the purpose of God for your life. So it is time that we arise. It is time that persons who are heavyweight or things that are weighing you down that is preventing you from living out that purpose and that plan of God for your life, you gotta shed it off. Now is not the time for us to play around. It is a time where we should come together it is a time where we have to rebuild that altar of unity. Unity is strength. Divided we stand. United we stand. Divided we fall. We, we, we cannot continue to go around in this disunity circle. We cannot. We cannot. And it doesn't make no sense that I come and sugarcoat a word because I want somebody to like it. It does not matter how much light I don't get. The fact of the matter is that somebody is hearing in the word and somebody will be transformed. Somebody will wake up tomorrow morning and make it right with their neighbor. Somebody will wake up tomorrow and make a phone call of apology even if you know you did not do anything wrong. Somebody praise God tonight. And in the book of Joshua chapter 1 and 2 we all know that in the book of Joshua 1 Moses died and Joshua was mourning the death of Moses and in chapter 2 God gave Joshua possession he gave him uh, he commanded him to go into the, the the land to possess the land and he said to him that I will be with you as I was with Moses and wherever you go it is yours and I'm power phrasing here and, and and the Lord give Joshua everything that he need because God see Joshua uh, purpose in Joshua God see him that he's a he's a man of God he walked with God he he, he encounter uh, he had encounters with God everything he does he 
did everything according to the will of God. And even though Joshua, God would have given Joshua the right away to go to go in go to Jordan and, and take over. Joshua sent out two spies to spy out the land. I come to tell somebody today in these times, not because we know God is with us means that we are going to just rise up and start to do things any uh, anyhow we want to do it because, oh, God is with me so I can do this. Uh, you gotta all be, be, be able to apply wisdom in times like these. In order for purpose to be birthed completely in our lives, we gotta be able to apply wisdom and Joshua applied wisdom and he sent the spies and the spies was they were hidden by the harlots and one of the things I want to tell us that when we do things according to God plan according to God instruction he will use our enemies to help our purpose to bring to help us to bring forth our purpose my God sometimes we are too quick to speak and sometimes we are too quick to act and sometimes we are too quick to do everything is a time now because we know purpose is so crucial is a time that we ought to understand and, and wait upon God to do certain things to say certain things uh, in order for us to give birth fully to purpose it don't make no sense that uh, we give birth halfway because a halfway birth means the baby is going to die a halfway birth means uh, we will have a baby that is it, it is not pr properly um can, can properly function it means that uh, the, the, the baby will, might might not might not have the arms might not develop properly or the heart might not develop properly we ought not to give to, to, to give birth to halfway purpose but to full 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 creation of purpose and how can we do that we, we ought to understand that we can do that by the grace of god and we can do that by the leading and the direction of god hallelujah somebody it is important for us to know in these times that while COVID is all around us. We can't get away from it, and we are we are listening to the to the to the medical officers, and they're telling us that we have to sanitize how many times, and 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 walk with our hand sanitized, and everywhere we go, we have to wear a mask. But I, how much it is that we are equipping ourselves with a word of God, so that purpose can be birthed out of us. God's word will never be erased; it will remain generations after generations after generation, and it come a time when we have to hide the word of God in our heart so that we will not sin against him nor against our brothers and our sisters. It is time that we wake up and we come to a place where God could unite us again uh, to do his work for the great commission uh, and not because God already tell us we already know the promises of God over our lives are yea and amen but what we have to understand is that even though that promises is already there and he is a covenant keeping God what we have to understand that we have to apply wisdom to what God say about us sometimes we are too quick to speak sometimes we are too quick to, 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 to digest a word that does not even come from the throne room of God sometimes we are too quick to bring down a brother or our sister but if we look at the situations and the circumstances through the eyes and the lens of God if we ask God for that vision for his vision then we will know that the sister make a mistake we will know that the brother was shaped in iniquity and we will know that it's time we pray that the blood of Jesus will sanctify and cleanse him so that he will be able to come back in alignment with the things of God so that purpose can be birthed out of him it's time where we have to forget that uh, not because we are Pentecostal. It's time we have to forget about our status and our and our stature. It's time we need to forget about those things and call upon God to move magnificently in our region, in our nation. It is time where we need to forget that not only Pentecostal alone is going to go to heaven. It's not only seven days Adventist is going, people are going to go to heaven. It's not only um Methodist uh, is going to go to heaven. Did God send his son Jesus Christ for every single one of us who will come to him who will worship him in spirit and in truth. Who will keep his commandment. Who will who will
will, who will speak, uh, who, will, who, who will confess our sins, hallelujah, so that we will be renewed, so that we will be sanctified. God is calling us back to the altar. We are too much out on the outer court. It's time we wake up. It is time we get up. And it's time we allow purpose to be birthed in us. And when we allow purpose to be birthed in us, it means that the person who we are associated with, purpose will be birthed out of them as well. It means that when we see the person, we will see purpose. It means that when we see the person, we will see the grace of God. It means when we see the person, we will see the mercy of God upon their life because it is by the mercies of God we are alive today. It is by the mercies of God we, we could do all of these things because we know he gave us this day our daily bread and that is not the, the day that he gave. He, didn't, he did not specify that this day Day is a day for the Chinese or this day is a day for the Africans or the Indians or, or, or whoever denomination you be. He said this, I give you this day, your daily bread, our daily bread. Hallelujah. Means he provide for everyone who will come to him. He provide, he make provision for all that who will come to know him as Lord and Savior of our lives. Somebody give God praise. It's time that we arise and allow purpose to be birthed out of us. We got to run this with purpose in times like these. We ought to be purpose driven individual. We got to understand that many of us, we, we had a past. Many of us when, when the light shine upon our past, we don't even want anything to or anyone to know what we would have gone through or what we did. But God does not remind us about our past. What he did, he pick us up. He raised us up and he plant our feet on higher ground. He raised us up to do his will his purpose and if we could understand that and look through the eyes and the lens of God it will be a change it will be a change hallelujah somebody we ought to know that when Joshua get everything Joshua ought to feel so powerful because here it is God is saying to him as I was with Moses so I will be with you and God is saying that he will be with us during these times. But as he gave us that promise, we ought to also fulfill what he's calling us to fulfill. We ought to understand that as we equip ourselves uh, because we don't want to get uh, uh, infected by the COVID virus, we ought to understand that we have to equip ourselves uh, with the word of God, with our spiritual growth. Uh, we got to understand that the same way we'll put on a lot of makeup and the fancy tie and the jacket uh, to look good and the best cologne to smell good uh, so that our outer appearance uh, always be on par. We, we, we are 99 one shot a hundred it's the same way we gotta prepare our spirit man because when God come back to judge he will not only judge on the things that we do he will judge on the things that we did not do he will judge us based on how we look at our brothers and our sisters he will judge us based on how we ought to, 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 to encourage one another and we allow a sister to go astray or a brother to go astray he will judge us based on those things man can and judge us the way God will judge us we are not allowed to judge hallelujah somebody there is purpose in you there is purpose in you Miss Nelson there is purpose in you Cassia there is purpose in you Jack there is purpose in you and today I decree and I declare that God will visit you and lift you up out of where you were and place you in a place where you ought to be and every darkness that darkness that wants to hold you back God is going to shine his light it might look small it might look like something that is not uh, bothering you as much but God look at the little things concerning his people so every area in your life that needs to be uplifted God is going to uplift it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we ought to know that God is with us in these times 
We need to equip ourselves with the word of God so that when we go to deal with anything, we got to bring out the word. We got to speak the word into the atmosphere and let the word do the talking on our behalf. When we release the word of God into the atmosphere, that word will do the talking. That word will cause men and women to, to favor you. That word will cause everything around you to change. That word will cause uh, the, 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 the pandemic not to even touch you and even if it touch you uh, because of the word of God that is hidden and locked up into your spirit your body will be in good order nothing will happen to you my God uh, that word that word of God in these times uh, that when you release that word uh, over the atmosphere your children your business everything concerning you uh, and the people around you that word will manifest itself uh, and bring about change and transformation in your life and we can take the the example from joshua God was with him and so he, God was with him then and God is with us now every single day of our lives God is with us but we gotta understand that while God is with us we got to power ourselves up we gotta be able to tap into the source at all time if we don't tap into the source then purpose cannot be birthed when, when, when we have a, 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 a cell phone and if you don't plug in that cell phone to be charged that cell phone battery is going to run out and the, the phone will die and you will not be able to make phone calls you will not be able to, to respond to message you, will, you cannot function, the phone will not be able to function at all but when you plug into the source constantly they will always be functioning, you will always function, it doesn't matter what the enemy throw at you because the word of God says that the weapons it never said that the weapon will not form, the weapon will form against us but it will not prosper and we need to understand in these times when we are running with purpose in our heart the weapons will form because the enemy does not want to see progress the enemy feel that every to keep us divided to keep us away from each other to to put a veil over our eyes that we cannot see each other the way God wants us to see each other so that we will fight against each other but we have to join forces and fight against the enemy we gotta join forces and fight against destruction we gotta join forces and fight against the powers of darkness because we have the authority to do that and I come to empower somebody tonight that you will not uh, go down that you will not uh, go under because there is greater inside of you than those that is in uh, uh, outside of uh, uh, in, in, in the world there's greater inside of you so you will not go down you cannot go under my god somebody you need to you need to awake yourself and say despite what is going on in in my community in my village in my country i will still trust the lord despite what is going on around me i will still trust god i will trust god in the morning i will trust god in the evening i will trust god at noonday and i will not only trust god for myself but i will trust god for my neighbors i will trust god for my ministry i will trust god for my leaders i will trust God for my other brothers and sisters my my blood relatives I will trust God for them because many times sometimes we look at our leaders through the eyes of man and if we, and the slightest mistake our leaders make we we want to bring them down and chastise them but they have a great purpose their purpose was they were called to to take us somewhere they were called so that purpose will be birthed out of us my God and so many times we we, we, we are so quick to judge and so many times we are so quick to open our mouth to speak but from today onwards I decree and I declare that when we are about to say anything that is not of God God will cause our words to stuck into our mouth we will keep it closed until he say otherwise I am not playing tonight I have seen too many persons fall under because we are looking at them based on what they did three years ago or based on what they did yesterday the Bible says that we need to forgive 70 times 7 and in order for Joshua to possess all of the lands that the Lord gave him he ought to be a man that had a pure heart 
He followed the instructions of God. It is not always easy because flesh will always fight against the spirit. Flesh will want us to, to rise up and speak things and say things that is not right. Flesh will always want us to react. But I have learned that the silent we stay in a situation, we get a better answer to give. I have learned that not every single thing you have to respond. There are some things that you have to deal with. There are some things that you have to confront. But confrontation does not always have to be a fist fight. It doesn't always have to leave you and the person. A confrontation can be between you and the person, not you and several other people. So I hope that somebody is understanding that God is with us in these times because purpose got to come out and if we don't see things the way God see uh, is showing us or, or allowing us to see it if we are closing our eyes towards the vision of God it means that we will bypass we will not see our destiny helpers Moses did what he did and handed to Joshua I have to do what I have to do and hand it over to somebody that God will raise up to take over where I leave off. What are you doing with a purpose that God gave you? Are you equipping somebody to continue it? Because we don't know when Jesus Christ is going to come again. But we know it's going to happen. But in the meantime, we cannot sit around and just wait until judgment day. We got to equip ourselves. We got to equip the sin. A revival needs to break out. And a revival will only start for us in our hearts. Of men and women we gotta start the revival we gotta start it now and it will start when we can look at persons with a vision of God the Word of God declares that we have to write the vision down and write it down clearly so that everybody will understand it everybody will see it everybody will know about it What is your vision that the Lord is showing you? How is he asking us to behave in time like these? Yes, we might not be able to go to a church. Yes, the church, some of the church doors are closed. Yes, so many things are happening. Jobs are being lost and all these things. But we still cannot look at those things and say that that's the end. God is not finished with us yet. I still have more inside of me to give out. He is not finished. And until there is a revival breaking out throughout the world. Where all men and women will see and know that he is God. Purpose still got to continue. Purpose got to continue and God is calling us. And when we have that, when we have that understanding of that purpose inside of us, we will know that we got to do certain things. We got to change our lifestyle. We will know that we have to, to move away from things that easily beset us. We will know that God is not pleased with certain things. We will know that God needs us to act in one accord. We know because when we act in one accord, when we move in one accord, the walls of Jericho will come down. When we act in one accord, when we follow the instruction, Joshua could have taken the possession of those lands because there was oneness and the Lord opened my eyes to see where Joshua told them give them an instruction a strategy of how they are going to take over the land in I and I I I I I the Lord was going to take over that land he said to them I am we the first and of person are going to go forward and when the the army see us coming they are going to chase after us and then we will turn around and run away and after I give you a signal you will then go in and take over and they listen to Joshua and when Joshua carried run into the desert place and he lift up his sword and point towards the king palace the hidden the, the army that was hiding the men for Joshua that was hiding 
hiding, charge in and take over. That is how God wants us to operate today. We got to come together in unity and be strategic to take down the plans and take down the kingdom of darkness. We got to be able to know that we got to come together in unity and get pull back our young men and our young women for Christ. We got to know we got to come together and pray for our nations so that the hands of God will move over our nation. We got to do this together because if we cannot do it together, it means that we will face even worse than what we are facing now. Many people say that God allowed the pandemic, but do we know why? Is so that in our time of isolation, we will seek his face. Our time of isolation, we will see who God really is and what he is saying to us. In our time of isolation, we will be able to reach out to our brothers and our sisters with ideas. Because God will give us witty ideas in these times. He will give us the vision. He will tell us. He will give us the strategy of how to overcome certain things. He will teach us what to do because he will teach our fingers to fight on and on our hands to, to, to war our hands to war and our figures to fight hallelujah he will teach us but we got to allow ourselves to be subjected to God we got to bring ourselves to that place and this is not only for the body of Christ this is for all men and women who have ear to hear because even you are on your secular job and you don't understand why you are on that job, you will not be able to be fruitful. You will not be able to possess. You will not be able to get an increase or to, to get a, 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 a promotion because you don't have no purpose, no understanding of purpose of why you are there. And nothing, the, the, the manager cannot see anything inside of you because you are a purpose driven and you are, you, you are called, you, you are employed to be a, a receptionist and because that's uh, you just called to be a receptionist you stick at being a receptionist God is always moving he's a purpose driven God and when he placed uh, place us at a place not for us to stay there all the time it's for us to be able to be fruitful fully 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 fruitful we got to come to a place of realization that I cannot do without the evangelist. I cannot do without the apostle. I cannot do without the pastor. I cannot do without the ministers. I cannot do without the worship leaders. I cannot do without the, the, the ushers. And I cannot do certain things without the congregation. I cannot do with certain things without my brothers and my sister. Because we all are needed for purpose to continue. How do we rebuild? How do we rebuild the altars? How do we rebuild? How do we purpose? Purpose will show us. And this is not man's purpose. This is God's purpose for our lives. And it's not always easy because sometimes he will send us different places and we will ask us to, 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 to speak the word and the word in your own self might not sound right to you but at the end of the day it's not about you it's about somebody that needs to hear that word it's about somebody that needs to be break free somebody that needs that word to go forward somebody that needs the word so that purpose can be boarded out of them somebody that needs something from that word that the lord is giving each and every one of us we need to understand understand that uh, th there is greater for us if we can unite there is greater for us if we can if we could re see persons through the lens and the eyes of God it is greater for us there is more for us if we can operate in one fold is greater for us the enemy does not listen the, we all understand how the devils work and sometimes I think we understand it too much that we don't even look 
and see how to navigate and, and, and come together and work so that we could defeat the, the, the plans of the enemy. The enemy seek always seeking a way of coming in and getting each other against each other and, and, and looking for to, to, to holes to come in and, and all those kind of things. We gotta now look to see where holes are open and mend them up. We gotta now look to see where we are falling short and come up. We gotta look to see where we could be, where we could apply ourselves and start to apply ourselves. We gotta look to see even though we are not meeting in church, the church still, things and in church still needs to go on. We have to, to pull ourselves together and, and, and make sure that whatever we are doing, God is pleased with it. It is crucial in these times for us to understand purpose. It is crucial for us. And I hope that this, you will take this word into your workplace. And when you go on your workplace, you will realize that you are there because God placed you there. God only used man to sit down and sign your, your application. God used and orchestrate men and women to be divine helpers so that purpose will come continue and be fulfilled. He, he, he uses uh, situations and circumstances so that purpose will, will continue to, to, to be birthed in, 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 in the world. So, so if we don't see persons the way God see them, even though we, I am I am aware that there are persons that you know oh, the devil is, 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 is holding them. There's a stronghold over them. Then you need to start to pray and intercede for that person. Say, Lord, whatever it is that is happening with that person, I pray that your Holy Spirit will come upon them and renew them because you don't know sometimes the enemy holds on on the person who's supposed to help you to get to another, another de um, destination. And because you are looking at them through the lens, of your own lens, you cannot see that they can help help you to your destination but the enemy already realized that this person could speak on your behalf or this person could help you do something and the enemy possessed them and they're acting up and because they're acting up you are so quick to react that everything just fall and that's about it but sometimes we gotta we gotta stop being so quick uh, to react and being so quick to act and being so quick to speak uh, and look at it in from a different angle and different standpoint and said okay today might not be a good day because the person is acting up but I am coming back tomorrow and I'm not coming back by myself tomorrow I'm coming back with the Holy Ghost all over me so you will have to content with the Holy Ghost inside of me you will have to content with what God placed inside of me and he said he will bless me in the city and he will bless me in the land and if I'm coming to the city today to do something it means that the favor of God is upon me so when they look at you they will not see you as the person they will see the favor of God that is shielding you purpose purpose when we know per when we understand purpose and we know the word of God and 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 and, and we, we, we we could hear God and we could God could show us vision and give us the wisdom we will know what to digest we will know what we allow in our spirit Spirit. Uh, we will know what uh, what need not to say and what need not to look at. We will know because so many words are going around the place and we are looking and taking them in and sometimes we take them in for the wrong purpose. Uh, when we do that, we are defeating the purpose inside of us because why? We are receiving negativity instead of positivity. You take what need to be taken and you leave the rest up to God to do whatever he has to do, my God. Uh, and we are too quick to digest uh, negative things. Listen to me. Nobody could come and speak negative in my life because I know the purpose of God for my life. And we have to come to that place where we understand who is calling us and the relationship we have with God so that no one, it doesn't matter what they say, can hold you back or hold you down from living out what God call each and every one of us to. I thank each and every one of us tonight for your attention, not to me, 
but to the voice of God through his servant. It is important that we run with purpose in times like these. And as we go to bed, I decree and I declare as we rest tonight that God is going to give us a vision to see and understand our purpose so that when we wake up in the morning we will know exactly what need to get done and how to go about doing it i declare and i decree that the wisdom of god will come upon us and we will come about gathering together in oneness so that we will have strength so that we will empower each other it is a time that we need to be empowered. And we cannot do it alone. We need everybody. That's the body. Every single person have a purpose in the body of Christ. Every single, single one of us play a significant role in the body of Christ every single one of us don't feel because you're not on a platform means that you nothing is going on in you god could be calling you to write a book god could be calling you to to, to write uh devotions so that persons could read god could be calling you to do so many other different things other than being on a platform that because you're not seen means you cannot be used. He will take you from the backside of the desert and bring you to the front when it's time. When you have come into full, full, full furiation of purpose, when it's ready to come forth. But in the meantime that you are there, do what you're called to do. Get equipped. Dig deep into the word of God. The word of God is power. The word of God will allow us to defeat the plans of the enemy. The word of God will take us throughout the world. But we got to be truth to the word of God. We got to be truth to the purpose of God. We got to be truth because we will be going around in a circle all the time. During these times of isolation, what it is God wants you to do? Is it that God is calling you to change your life? Is it God is calling you to teach? Is it God is calling you to be a prayer warrior? Is that God is planting something, a seed inside of you so that you will be among the remnant? Is it that God is looking for you so that you will be a watchman on the wall? What it is God is calling you to do during these times? What is your purpose on the face of the earth? Many times I heard old people say that they the, the cemetery is one of the most richest place because there is where purpose, all the purpose that, 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 that was not aborted, they are all there. They have no use to us because they are there. What it is that God is calling you to do now and who it is God is calling you to be associated with so that what is inside of you and inside of that person can be aborted. When Mary and Elizabeth met purpose lip what is inside of us but if we are continue being separated we will not be able to leap we will not be able to spark that fire that God want to ignite inside of us because we are too busy doing our own thing 
God is calling you to be on the platform so you feel that the platform is only where you can function. So it is crucial at these times that we know what is our purpose. Father and God, I thank you tonight. I thank you that your word have touched the heart of men. And Father and God, I pray in the name of Jesus that Lord God, that somebody will have a testimony. That somebody will wake up and realize that you are calling them to be an author. That their story will bless someone across the world. That somebody will wake up and realize that you have anointed them to teach. I decree tonight, oh God, that purpose will be birthed. And as purpose be birthed, oh God, we will come together and repair the altars that are broken. We will come together as one and we will cry out with one voice. And Lord God, that we will take down the camps of the enemy around our nations, around our ministries, around our children, around the young generation, mighty God. Father and God, I thank you, almighty Father, that your will be done, O God. I thank you, O God, that your, the blood of Jesus will cover every life that is present, O mighty God, and every person that will be watching afterwards. That Father and God, they will realize that you are calling them to a higher dimension. The ones that are already understand what God is calling them to will raise to a higher dimension in you, my God. And Father and God, that you will birth all that needed to be birthed out of us all. And that we will go and possess our possession. We will take over. We will take grounds in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless each and every one of us. I thank God for each and every one of you that tune in tonight. I pray that you will continue to share the link so that someone else will be blessed and God will do something new in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. This is our first prophetic Wednesday for the year. We now start back and we will be on every Wednesday, not necessarily live, but as the Holy Spirit leads and there is a word that needs to come forth live, it will happen. I'm a vessel for God and I will do as he say. And I pray as I do that, that you will do the same. I greet you. I bring. I greet you from my leaders, Apostle Andrew John and Pastor Cassandra John. And, you know, as we continue to keep them in prayers, I keep all the other leaders of the, all the other different ministries in prayers. All the intercessors and the watchmen, we are going through some times and we need to continue to pray for St. Vincent. We need to continue to pray for Barbados. We need to continue to pray for the Caribbean and the world at large. So when you are praying, if you're not from St. Vincent, keep St. Vincent in prayer. As we pray, we will keep you in prayers as well. God bless you. And may the peace of God, the peace that passes all understanding, be with you. I decree that whatever darkness is trying to keep your purpose, that it is now broken by the